Hey guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday to you. Man, it's been a great week so far. We've been talking about the purpose and power, you know, of our words, you know, and it's so important as we've been saying all week that Christianity is known as the great confession. And so we talked about yesterday about the spirit of faith over in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and it says, it is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. And since we have the same spirit of faith, we believe and therefore speak. You know, Mark Hankins has this book called The Great Confession, and he really reveals that there are four areas of confession. So let's look at those four areas of confession. The first one is this, what God has done in the death burial, and resurrection. So we got to understand there's a confession that goes along with that. Because why? Having a clear revelation of what happened from the cross to the throne will radically change our lives. Galatians 2 says like this, it says, my old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and who gave himself for me. Now there's a confession after each one of these. And so the confession goes like this. I have been crucified with Christ. My old life is gone. God made Jesus to be sin for me, so I now share his righteousness. Come on, somebody say it. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That's the first confession, that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. What's number two? Who we are in Christ. Jesus is the head of the body of Christ. We share the same identity with him the same experience, and we are in union with him. Just like he died, we died. And just like he was raised, we were raised. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says like this, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone. Come on, thank God for that, somebody. And the new is here. Now check out this verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. But of him you are in Christ, who became for us wisdom from God, righteousness, sanctification, come on, somebody say, and redemption. Now, the confession for this one goes like this. I am a new creation in Christ. Because I am in Christ, I share his wisdom, I share his righteousness, I share his uh, sanctification and Redemption. Come on, you got to recognize you are a new creature in Christ when you got born again. What's the third confession? What Jesus is doing for me right now. What is Jesus doing for you right now? He is our great intercessor right now at the right hand of God. He is not retired in heaven. He is working right now, and his, his intercession for us is not only effective, but it's working powerfully in us. His prayer brings us to continual victory, continual salvation, which means healing, deliverance, soundness, provision, preservation. He intercedes for us through the person of the Holy Spirit, and he intercedes for any weaknesses that we may have, for any infirmities we may have, or any limitations we may have. The Bible says it like this over in uh, Hebrews chapter 7. Therefore, he's able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. What's the confession for this one? Jesus is continually praying for me. He is for me. He is in heaven praying for me. You know, God is not only in us, he is with us. And come on, somebody say, he is for us. And what's the last confession? The word and the Holy Spirit is working in us. No matter how you are feeling right now, the, the mess you find yourself in or the mountain standing in front of you, the greater one is living inside of you and he is giving you words to speak. What does the scripture say? He says, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. So we got to confess the word of God or what the word of God says about us and what God's spirit can do through us. I mean, God can turn that thing around today. Come on. He can turn it around 
today. Come on, somebody say today. Philippians 1, 6 says, he says, being confident of this, this, of this very thing, that he who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion right up until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 2.13 says like this, it says, For it is God who works in us and will act in order, he says, he will act in order to fulfill his good purpose. What's the confession we got to say here? God, you've begun a good work in me. You are working in me, giving me the desire and the power to do what pleases you. Come on, man, that's some good word right there. Come on, let's thank God for the word of God. Thank God for you. We love you guys. Enjoy this day. Believe God for the turnaround. Make those confessions, and I believe God's going to work that thing out for you in Jesus' name. Have a great Wednesday. Thank you.